everyone, it's Alyssa and welcome to You Can Learn Math. Today we are talking about triangle congruence theorems. And I think for this, I'm going to turn on my ink to shape feature and make this a little easier to make nice pretty triangles because yeah, I can actually draw in real life, believe it or not, but when it comes to drawing shapes on a screen with a pen, not my forte. They end up looking mutated at best. So ink to shape it is where I draw awful triangles, hey, and it makes the best of it. So today, triangle congruence theorems. These are ways that we prove that triangles are congruent to each other. What do we mean when we say congruent? Well, congruent is the two-dimensional or shape version of equal. It means they're identical in every way. Like if you have a piece of paper and you had a drawing of a person on it and you had another piece of paper with an identical drawing of a person on it and you could lay them on top of each other, hold them up to the light and oh my goodness, they're a perfect match. It's that kind of thing. That is what congruent means. So there's a whole bunch of theorems for what information we need to prove that triangles are congruent and they get abbreviated. And it's going to look like this. This will mean something by the end of this video, I promise. All these A's and S's stand for angle and side. So this would be angle, side, angle, side, angle, side, angle, angle, side, and side, side, side. These are the four um, theorems we use and abbreviations we use when we're talking about proving triangles are congruent. So what do these mean? First, I'm just going to, oh, okay, I actually want it to be a little more like that. Okay, and I'm going to actually copy this and make a, a perfect, there we go. All right, so here we have two triangles. The biggest sort of thing is when you have something like angle side angle it doesn't just mean oh I've got this angle matching I've got this angle matching on those ones and like oh over here that side's matching all right that is not angle side angle yeah it's two angles and it's a side but the order is important all of these the angle side angle 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 side side angle side you're going around the triangle in some way. It can be either direction, but you have to be going step to step to step. So like here's an angle, then a side, there's an angle, there's a side, there's an angle, there's a side. And it, you can't skip anything. So angle side angle would have to be this angle, this side, and this angle would have to match this angle, this side, and this angle. Or we could go around the other direction. Angle, side, angle. Angle, side, angle. And that's how this works. Same with if it is side, angle, side. Then let's say if I started on this side, it might be, change my color, there you go. Side, angle, side, side, angle, side. We could go the other direction and we can start on any side, side, angle, side, side, angle, side. The important thing is with all of these is once you have these three pieces of information, that's it. At this point, I look and I go, all right, a side, an angle, and a side. Oh, and this side, and this triangle matches that side, that angle, and that side. That's it, they are congruent. That's our little symbol for congruent. It's an equal sign with like a tilde on top of it. It's congruent. And that's all the information I need. Like, oh, side angle side says, if I have a side, then the next angle, then the next side, and they're the same, these triangles are congruent. Now that's, you know, all well and good. And again, our, our four, come on, we have our four different ones and they are again side 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 angle side angle side angle and angle angle side 
wow, that S went wild. <laughs> angle, angle, side. Um, there's two that you might think, well, maybe these could be that they are not. We're going to cover those before this is out. I will tell you which ones are never proof of congruence and why. So first, let's try to visualize why these are true. And I'm not talking about in a do then an actual strict mathematical proof kind of way. That's not what this video is about. It's more about understanding from a sort of logical real world perspective why it's true. Well, first, let's picture, let's start with side, side, side. And let's picture a triangle. We've got a side. And then I draw another side. Now, how many different things can connect those two sides once I've, I've set them? And let's say, you know, if this is, let's say this is five and eh, let's say this is five and, and this is eight and there's another side here and this side is going to be 10. I'm separating them a little bit. Oh, come on. Leave them separate. I want them separate. Okay. And this is 10. There's only, if I have this side that's five and this side that's eight and this side that's 10, are there multiple triangles that I can make from that combination? No. If I had, think of this like three sticks. Like let's say I started with a stick that was 10 inches long. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, it's allergy season where I'm at right now. I'm trying. Ooh, it's not, it's not nice. Okay. So let's say I had a stick that was 10 inches long and I had another stick that was five inches long and I kind of planted it at this end. And I have this other stick that's eight inches long and I attached it at this end. Is there more than one place where they can meet if I kind of try to bring these together so that they touch? No, it's just one place. That five is going to tilt down and then this green stick is going to tilt down. They're going to keep moving down and eventually they're going to meet and that's it. That's the only possible triangle that you can make from those three sticks. Done. There's no alternative triangle. So if you know the three sides and they all match, there's only one triangle that can be made with those three sides. And that's the idea of this. Is there only one triangle that can be made with that combination? Did not need you ruler. I was trying to get rid of that circle. Okay. All right. So that's side, side, side. Now let's think about side angle side. Let's see. I have a side and then I say, okay, there's a very specific angle that's not going to change. And then another side. How many different lengths? We'll see if we're doing this again with sticks. Let's say, okay, I have, I have this stick and I have this other stick here and I'm setting them next to each other and I am not going to change this angle no matter what. How many different stick lengths could you use to connect them? Only one, right? They're never going to move because this angle doesn't change. So those sticks are locked into place and to connect this point to this point, those points are not moving. There's only one other length of side that's going to make that a triangle. And so since there's only one other length of side, we're back to having like a side, side, side situation. If we think about it that way, but yeah, nothing's going to move. You can't change that. It's, there's only one possible triangle that can be made. Okay. Let's think about angle side angle. So let's say I have an angle that I have locked in. I have this bottom side. There's my angle side. And then I have this other angle that I have locked in. Angle side angle. If I am to extend, and I keep extending this, and then I was to extend this side, there's only one point where they're going to meet, right? There's only one possibility because those angles aren't going to change. If that angle opened up or this angle opened up or that angle shrunk, either of these angles shrunk, then yeah, that would change things. But as is, if that angle is locked in and this angle is locked in, then there's only one possible intersection if you continue those lines. 
So there's angle, side, angle. Now let's look at angle, angle, side, which is a similar kind of thing. So let's say I have an angle here and I have, I don't know the length of this side, but I have this angle here. This angle is locked in and the length of this side is locked in. So this is my, my length of side that's locked in. How do we know, We're like, hmm, but if I don't know this side and I don't know this side, couldn't things change? Well, no. Let's kind of visualize this like separating it apart. So I have this unknown bottom side, I have a defined right side, and I have this angle. It has to meet at this point, this other line that's out here. It has to meet at that point. And it has to connect down here somewhere, but it has to meet that point. If I have this specific angle over here, if I try to move it over here, it's not going to meet at that point. If I try to move it over here, it's not gonna meet at that top point. For it to have that specific angle and also meet at that point, there is only one triangle that will work. There's only one position for this angle to be, one place for it to be. And there's your angle side angle logic. Finally, here are the two that just do not work. Clear the canvas. This thing is going so slow today. All right, the two that do not work for congruence are angle, 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 and side, side, angle. They don't work. Um, the angle, 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 I think is pretty easy to remember that this, this just doesn't work. This one may be a little bit harder because there's some that are so similar like SAS and A, um, ASA, you know, and AAS, and then you're like, well, about SSA? Okay, if you're having problems remembering, here's my, my way to remember it is there will never ever be a day, think about what these letters are if you reverse them, there will never be a day when you get to write that on a test and have it be a right answer in math. Sorry, it's not going to happen. So if that helps you remember, just FYI. So why don't they work? Angle, angle, angle. Well, let's look about this. What if I had a right triangle with equal sides? This is going to be 45, that's 45, and that's 90. Oh, but look also, ta-da, another right triangle with equal sides. And that's 45, 45, and 90. Are these identical? Are they congruent? Can you overlap them and hold them up to the light and they match? Not a chance. This angle, angle, angle proves similarity in that you can blow up or shrink one of them and it will fit over the other, but it does not prove congruence. And our last one, the one that can be hard is the side side angle. It does not prove congruence. Okay, so for side side angle, let's look at an example like this. So let's say I know that this side is four and that, that this side is 12, I don't know, and that there's an angle, and there's an unknown length, I don't know how long this is, and there's an angle, and this angle is like 20 degrees. And I have, and I'm told, there's another triangle out there that has a side of 4, a side of 12, and then this 20 degrees. Are they congruent? You're like, wow, two sides and an angle, that must be. But no, because here's our two possibilities. I could do this same thing told you I'm awful at drawing these. You know what? Let's copy. Wow, come on. Come on. Come on. Let me copy. Let me copy. Stop being a pain. There we go. Okay. There we go. All right. So I've got my two, my two sides, uh, my two triangles here. Up here on the top, it's this side that's the problem. So I've got that four. Let's say, okay, I'm going to draw this triangle. And that is a triangle with a side of four, a side of 12, and an angle of 20. Well, what if I took this four and I pivoted it in like that? 
same length. And voila, I now have a triangle with a side of four, a side of 12, and an angle of 20. But as you can see, they are not congruent. And that is why, because you can have situations where this side could be at either of these two locations and still make a triangle. The side doesn't change, the other side doesn't change, and the angle doesn't change. Okay, so those are all of your congruence theorems. Memorize these. I'm not even joking. If you are in geometry, memorize them. And I mean permanently. I don't mean like for a test and then, oh, forget about them. No, 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 no. They will show up again and again and again in your class, I promise you. So please make sure to remember them. Remember which ones work and which ones like SSA and AAA are like the wolf in sheep's clothing. They will get you because you think they will help and then boom, no, you did not prove congruence and you got it all wrong and mm, we don't want that. All right, so that's it for today. If you have any questions or everything, please leave your uh, thoughts, comments, and questions in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed that today. Um, if it was helpful, useful in any way, please like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.